Start by bringing your hands to your knees. Pull in just under your belly button and start rolling on your back, slowly and with control. Trying to feel your back rounding so that you can sense each individual vertebra as it touches the floor. Notice especially how the weight transfers from your pelvis to the first vertebra of your lower back. Once on the floor, engage your core, press your lower back on the floor and rolling your pelvis a little, lift your tailbone a bit upwards. This small roll of the pelvis will give you the momentum required to return to sitting. Roll to sitting, keeping the back rounded. On your next inhale, roll to the front using both momentum and the muscles of your torso. As you roll forward, try to bring your feet as close to your pelvis as possible, keeping the knees parallel. Reach out your arms in front of you to counterbalance. As your pelvis lifts, think of pressing the heels of the feet on the floor, raising yourself a little higher. Be careful, as until the muscles of the hips and thighs become strong, the knees have the tendency to open or come together. It is very important to not attempt to lift yourself higher if your knees are not parallel. Instead, keep practicing this part until your legs are strong enough. The position of the head will help you continue the movement. By lifting the head to gaze past your fingertips, you will come up passing through the chair pose. Keep the weight of the pelvis over your heels. Engage your thighs so as not to overburden your knees. By letting your gaze come to the ground, you will come directly into a deep fold. Inhaling in mountain pose. Exhaling forward fold. Inhaling up, in a half forward fold. Exhaling, knees bent to roll backwards. Inhaling, press through the heels to come up in mountain pose. Exhale, to fold back down. Inhale, coming up to half fold. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale into a deep fold. Inhale up, exhaling, rolling back. Inhale to come all the way up to mountain pose.